Hey there, Lammies. Welcome to another Animal of the Day video. Before we get started, I wanted to talk to you guys about Spirit Week. This week is Spirit Week with Lion and Lamb. Yesterday, we were supposed to wear red for education, and silly Miss Nika forgot that she had red. I didn't think I owned anything red, and I forgot that I have this dress. Luckily, my hair is red, though, so I think it counts. But I decided to wear this today because I couldn't wear it yesterday. Today is dress like your favorite sports team day. So you can wear your favorite jersey or colors of your favorite sports team. Miss Nika wore her Giants hairpins because the Giants are my favorite baseball team. What's your favorite baseball team? All right, now that we've talked about that, let's get into our animal of the day video. Yesterday, we learned all about geckos. My favorite thing that we learned was that they don't have eyelids, so they have to use their tongue to keep their eyes from drying out. Isn't that crazy? I also liked learning about all the different kinds of geckos. There were a lot of different kinds. A lot of them had really pretty colors and really pretty markings. I also thought the gecko that rides on the tortoise to get around was really funny. At the end of yesterday's video, I told you that our animal for today would be one of Miss Nika's very favorite animals, but not a dinosaur. Did you guys guess what it was? If you guessed frog, you got it right. But we're going to be talking about a specific kind of frog. Today we're learning all about the red and blue poison arrow frog, also known as the strawberry poison dart frog. All right, let's see what there is to learn about them. I'm really excited about this one. The red and blue poison arrow frog's pretty colors stands out from the rich rainforest vegetation. So what that means is, if you see the rainforest, what color is it mostly? Green. So you'll be able to see these frogs stand out, and his bright colors serve as a warning that he is one of the most poisonous and dangerous animals on the planet. So since this week is all about animals that come from an egg, I'm gonna talk to you about how the, we'll call him the strawberry dart frog, because that's a little easier, We'll talk about how this frog hatches from his egg and starts his life. Most frogs hatch from an egg and start as tadpoles and live in the water, but not this one. This one has a little bit different of a childhood. So like with other frogs, the mommy will lay her eggs in the water, but then the tadpoles will hatch and actually climb on her back. And she has a special kind of oil on her back that keeps them stuck there and keeps them hydrated, keeps them from getting too dry. And then she'll take a very long journey to find a plant with a puddle of water in it that the tadpoles can live in to keep them safe. The reason she has to do this is because fish in the rainforest really like to eat tadpoles, and she obviously doesn't want that for her tadpoles, so she'll take them into a protected area where they can grow up and become frogs. So let's talk about what this frog kind of does. So like most frogs, these frogs really like water because it helps their skin not get too dry. But because they live in the Costa Rican rainforest, it's a very steamy and already wet kind of environment. They don't need to jump in the water as much as other frogs, say at like our own Rancho San Rafael, might need to. So how do these frogs protect themselves from predators in the wild? Do you guys know what a predator is? A predator is another animal that might want to eat a certain animal. So like a lion would be a predator or, or even our friend, the bald eagle would count as a predator. So how do these frogs protect themselves from predators? Well, what they do is they have poison on them. They're not called the poison frog for no reason. They actually have poison in their skin. And if a predator is lucky, it'll just taste bad and he'll spit them out. But if he actually eats the frog, it's not very good for the predator. These frogs are really, really small. So that's why they have such beautiful, bright colors. It serves as a warning to other animals. Hey, if you eat me, I'm poisonous. So most animals stay away. All right, let's learn some fun facts about our friend, the red and blue poison arrow frog. There is only one real natural predator to these frogs, and it's a certain type of snake who's actually immune to their poison. This species of frogs include some of the smallest frogs in the world. Some of them only get to about a half an inch long, just like our friend the gecko yesterday. Huh, I wonder if they could be friends. Hmm. Some scientists think they still haven't discovered all of the types of poisonous frogs in the rainforest. So there could be lots more that we haven't found yet. Take a look at all these different kinds of poisonous dart frogs. They're very similar to the one we're learning about, but they just have different colors. Aren't they really cool? The red and blue poison arrow frog lives in the Costa Rican rainforest. So it's not likely you would ever come across one of these frogs, but if you did, don't ever pick it up go get an adult for help, just like you would with like a spider or another kind of animal, because they aren't mean, but they are dangerous. When a red and blue poison arrow frog wants to say that this is my land, this is my territory, he'll 
fill up his neck with air, kind of like when you see other frogs go ribbit, but that's how he looks kind of threatening to other frogs. That's how he says, this is my land. I'm, I'm the king here. <laughs> You're not a frog. All right, Lammies, wasn't that so much fun learning all about the red and blue poison arrow frog? I really liked learning that the mommy has to carry the tadpoles into separate plants that have water to keep them safe from fish. I also liked learning that this species of frogs has some of the smallest frogs on earth, only a half an inch long, just like our friend the gecko. If you would like on the Lamb's Class email, tell me three things you learned about the red and blue poison arrow frog. I look forward to hearing what you guys learn. Tomorrow we have another really great animal. I'll give you a hint. He swims in the ocean and he has the word angel in his name. Kind of like our angels class here at Lion and Lamb. <laughs> All right guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.